Hey, hey, Godzilla back again, and that popped up now. Okay, so we're back again to um, continue this uh, Civ 5 uh, adventure. See what we got going here. So we got our first building completed, and we can build some more crap, because we got... Uh, hmm, do we want to get more faith and beat everyone to religion? Yes, we do. Although growth is pretty good. Yeah, yeah religion. Um, yeah, so we got our first building happening, which is the steel. So this is what it looks like when you look at your city screen. Um, so you see, you can see like a, an overview of the resources that this city is working. That's a recommendation of a tile I should buy. Do I have enough money? I do, but I don't have a whoopsie doodles. But I don't have a worker, so I'm not going to buy that yet. Because um, you know, we, if you're going to want to work it, what's the point? What are they worth here? Okay, three hundred ten bucks. Yeah, we'll wait. Um, so wonders, your palace is considered a, a wonder. It's a bit of a, you know, like a Kickstarter, as you can see there. Um, and then the steel, which gives us our culture and faith. And you'll see up here now, so this, this one is active. Um, so once we have 10 faith, which is going to take us five turns, uh, we'll be able to make a pantheon, which is uh, sort of uh, the first uh, belief uh, type thing that allows you to, you know, start your religion, basically. Um, and that's cranking over, so we're getting, uh, three a turn, that's pretty good. Um, that'll get us to a golden age, which basically, as you can see there, increases, uh, your gold, uh, your production, and your culture during the time that the golden age is running. Money's cranking over at seven a turn, that's pretty good. Happiness is doing alright at the moment. And our science, five. So, we've only got one city, we haven't got anything that boosts it yet. Uh, you know, so it's pretty early on, it's pretty good though. But um, as we improve this land, you know, we're going to be able to get this one going a bit better. So, let us do this. Alright, so we got our mining now. Let's uh, suss out what these guys have got going on. So, I think they're going to expand pretty quick. They've got a fair bit of food and stuff around. And they're on the ocean, so I'd suspect that they've probably got some uh, mechfishies over there, which is pretty good. Aha! Now, horses. Horses are very important. Um, the thing is, like, it's, it's, you obviously don't know where, uh, horses are going to be when you start, because, uh, only getting this one reveals where they are, but, it usually, for me, um, especially when I'm playing against aggressive opponents, like, in harder difficulties, you want to get horses, um, as soon as possible, and you want to build where the horses are, um, so you, like, even if it's going to start war, grab that land, um, that's, that's my policy anyway. Um, yeah, you, you definitely want to get the horses. They're one of the better ways to, to fight. Yes, they're weak to pikemen, um, which are like spearmen that can, uh, you know, kick their ass, as you can imagine. Um, but, you know, for, you know, blitz attacks and things like that, or even just, I sometimes use them as a scout to scout out the land. Um, they're pretty damn handy. Oh, and something I didn't mention before. Let's just go this way. Uh, this over here, this is uh, something that I like to play with. Um, yeah, it gives you basically your uh, overall score amongst the civs. So as you can see, we've only met the Spanish. So Isabella, she's a little bit ahead of us. I'd say because she's got so much good stuff within her boundaries uh, so far. And they get a bit of a bonus. Um, we're not too far behind at this stage, which is good. Um, the, I would say we are going to fall behind at some point. But don't worry, we'll, uh, we'll be able to hang in there. If we can just, we've had a pretty good start so far. So we should be able to do all right. This is, hey, barbarians, here they come, these sons of bitches. Now, this city, it will be able to attack on its own, to a degree. Um, but, yeah, I think I'm going to bring these guys back to um, just make sure. Alright, so we've got our first pantheon. So this is where we can choose, uh, you know, from some pretty cool bits and pieces. Now, we have a little desert over here, but don't know what's there yet. Damn, bad timing. Like, this, I find this one, Faith from Desert Tiles. That can be invaluable. It looks like we've got here first because no one else has taken it. Um, that could be pretty damn ha damn handy. But, um, hmm. yeah, there's a lot of really blank desert tiles, though, that aren't going to be all that handy. i got grassland. Do I take the plunge? Because this is also good as well. Hmm. I'm taking the plunge. I don't know everything that's over here, but I do see... Okay, there's water there. We know there's water something near there. We've got a hill. That could be a pretty good city spot. 
and we get a shitload of faith from it. Planes, silk, don't know, I'm doing it. Alright, see if we can get that. The faith, like I was saying uh, earlier, can be pretty damn powerful. Um, you know, it can sway things, it can, it can also get um, city-states on your side. Oh, this is a good spot actually. Damn. Okay. I'm happy. I'm happy. This is a good choice. Ah, oh, shit. I forgot to bombard them. Aha. Wow, they're very close by. So here we go. So we can get this city. So that's the bounds of what it can bombard. And... Bow, bow, bow. These little mofos. Look at them. Alright. So I think... Oh, have they got scouts already? Uh, I think I'm going to get him to attack this guy, these guys. We need to get him off our ass, otherwise they're just not going to stop. Um, hmm, what do we go with? Alright, let's get a scout so we can suss out this land a bit better, so we know where we're going to build. But we're definitely going to try and build there. I reckon the, um, the Spanish are going to push pretty hard to get encroach on this area. Weez is going to beat them. Now we'll get this guy dead. Boom shakalaka. Thou shalt not muzzle and there the we arms. go. Alright, so where are these horses? Oh, hell yeah. Alright, that is extremely lucky to get them back close. Do we have any more around here? Because that would be insane. Alright, so France is probably... France. Uh, Spain are probably going to get something pretty quickly too. Damn, that is perfect. Four is a pretty good number, at least early on. But one is the loneliest number. Alright, anyway. Before I lose it, let's get a policy. <laughs> okay, so production for melee units. And if there's more melee units together, we're going to get production. And this is going to give us a great general, which is sweet. We're going to hide him in there for the moment. What he basically does is... Uh, actually, let's bring it up like this. That way you can see it properly. Great general. Alright, so what they basically do is uh, they can construct citadels so they can make like a building uh, that, that can still land as well as... Um, yeah, it gives a big defensive bonus, and enemies that start to get close to it, get adjacent to it, uh, start to lose health, which is pretty awesome. Um, so that's one way you can use them, or the other way is uh, you obviously send them along with your army, um, and it boosts all the units without it within two tiles, um, which is extremely good. So if you're making a push trying to take a city, I always send them in. If I've got some bastards that have... Uh, built right next to my land, um, you know, and sort of inhibiting my growth, I might make a citadel. Um, it'll steal some of that land back. It'll probably piss them off. It might start a war, but it also gives you a good foothold um, to, to, you know, sit a guy in there just to defend, boost up his stats, um, and it can also be a good spot to sort of um, retreat to for units that you might be pushing up, like when once the war actually starts and you're actually attacking, um, it might be a good point, a good place for them to duck back to you know, sort of recover and then come back out because they get that extra bonus in there. Um, they shouldn't be getting hit quite as hard. So we're going to set that guy in there for now because if I send him out, these barbarians can probably kill him pretty easily on their own. Um, they are a bit fragile as they are. Now, what do we want? Yeah, I think we'll get archery just so we can start to build our defenses, our defensive units, and then masonry. I think we're going to hit masonry pretty quickly. Alright, so we got a promotion. Promotion! Now, there's a few different options. So, this guy in the grassland. Now, we're going to be fighting here on pretty open land. We do have a lot of forest here. And uh, one of the things is, open land is obviously, uh, you know, there's no bonus for an enemy. Whereas, you know, if they're hiding in a forest, you know, it makes sense that they'd get some sort of bonus. Now, going with this one here um, means that we're going to get a bit of that bonus back. Uh, or a bit of that, um, yeah, bonus back. Uh, we'll be able to sort of peg that back and be a little bit stronger when we're fighting enemies that are, that are in these areas as well. So I think we'll go with that one, just to beef them up a bit. Now, that's 
yeah see like you see here terrain modifier fortification bonus flanking bonus um i think we're gonna heal up for a bit otherwise we take this out this guy is probably gonna kick our ass so we'll just heal up for a couple of turns now isabella's done something crazy she's scooted up those rankings actually that's getting pretty big now yeah she's getting more production and stuff we need to get that worker very soon that's all right we'll have the scout Ooh, someone's attacking over here awesome all right so the scout i tend to just put him on uh auto and they usually do a pretty good job of uh, scouting everything out uh yeah they're usually pretty good so we're going to do it like that just so we can uh, concentrate on this other stuff so uh let's get a worker happening because we're not going to have one uh, as a result of a policy man there are a lot of barbarians so far You die. All right, now these guys are going pretty well. Yeah, let's just heal up for a little bit longer. A lot of barbarians, but they're not hitting me too hard yet, which is lucky. We're having a lucky start. No complaints, it's good. Yeah, let's hit these guys a little bit. These douchebags. Giggity, that's some good cider. What is this stuff? Kopperberg. Kopperberg, not bad. Alright. Is it worth killing them? Yeah, I think so. These guys aren't, I doubt that they're going to try and come out of here. If they do, we're unlucky. <laughs> that's what I'm going to put it down to. And these bitches be dead. Wow, they are really scooting along now. What? I, whoa, up to four people. How are they doing that so quickly? Cheat codes, cheat codes! Alright, so research, what's next? So if we're going to build a city, that's good, but I don't think we're going to build a city yet. I think we want masonry. We want to get this happening. That is going to just smash our production out of the park. And the fact that it's got food and money on there means that the city will probably prioritize to work these tiles first, um, which is what you want. Like, that's a, you know, we've only got three people um, by the time they build it, maybe four, maybe five. Um, definitely going to be worthwhile to, um, you know, get these as part of it because you're going to, you know, you're getting a whole lot of stuff out of this one tile uh, versus these. I mean, you're getting some stuff, but, you know, it's a better balance. And horses! We've expanded our borders to the horses now, which is awesome. Alright. So we've got a bit of money going on now. Can we buy anything useful? We can buy an archer. We can buy a scout. I'm going to buy an archer. Awesome. Now, I'm going to get this archer this time. He's going to protect, but I'm going to get him to help out these, uh, these fellas. Because we should be able to take this down now, pretty quickly. Yep, we can take it out. Bah, 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 bah. In your voice! Alright, I'm happy with that. Whoa, one player's at 73. What the fuck? They struck gold. Now, can I see any barbarian encampments close? Some over there. It's Cape Town. Damn, that's a good spot over there as well. Fudger Rooney. I think there. I want to build there. I definitely want to build there. Alright, we're going to try and take these guys out. Ooh, policy. 50% more experience. I like the sound of that. Ah, embassies. Alright, so this is some of the stuff that you start to get as you go along. Um, so she wants to pay me to get an embassy. I'm going to say no, because basically what an embassy does is it allows them to uh, see your city, uh, which means, you know, they can, you know, see where you are on the map if they haven't found you yet. Um, and I tend to find that they, 
tend to be douchebags, and um, you know, you use that as a well, it's it's, it's smart. It's not really a douchebag, but um, use that as a way to. Um, wait, let me get this guy to follow him. Um, to you know, scout you out to attack. So work together. I don't like you. I don't trust you. Your score's too high. <laughs> Lame is the excuse ever. I know. Uh, we'll get you to work these horses. We'll get you to go over meow. And you can follow. We'll get some bonus for this mofo. And you can actually protect these fellas. Because we can't see what's up here. And usually, you know, you guys will be doing the thing. Then a Bavarian comes, kills your worker. And you're like, fuck, that took me forever to get. And now look what you've done. So, okay, hold on. This might be a pretty decent time to get another settler. Because we don't have too many people yet. Yeah, we're doing it. Because what it does, when you start building a settler, it stunts your city's growth. Um, so you want to sort of be careful about that. Um, but if we can get another city, I want to take this land as quick as possible. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to work this way. I'm thinking I'm going to take this first. Um, I know I said you should build on a hill, but that's a better spot. We got better reach for some pretty good things, and I don't think you can actually build that close uh, to another city. So that gives some pretty good overlap. That's a pretty good. I could, you know, if I sit an archer up there, it's probably a decent defensive position as well. So you can build there. You can go meow, and you can kill meow. So we're making some pretty good progress here. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. A bit of a diamond shaped thing going on there. We're scouting out some pretty good lands, some pretty good resources. Um, so yeah, uh, the things that give you happiness is resources like this guy. As you see there, that'll give us four, um, which means we can expand our cities far better. That's going to give us four. Uh, what else we got near us? The, yeah, they're going to be the best ones in this area. Um, uh, that's sugar as well, so that's not really going to matter. That's more silver, but we can trade it for stuff. Um, and then because we've got these nearby our cities, um, we can also make what's called a mint, uh, and that's going to help us as well. So, all right, we'll get the general to stay there for a little bit. Man, look at the damage as a result of that general. So there, near general, an extra 15%, and then we've got that 53% bonus against barbarians. Like, that's pretty insane. Um, we're going to mow these guys, because normally they would kick the shit out of archers, but that's, uh, that is going to help very, very much. Man, they are populating like rabbits. They are vermin. Alright, you fellas. They did a good job of sussing that out, actually. Except for meow, but that's okay. Because we have plenty of time to do that. Oh, Masonry! Now you. Got a lot of open ground here. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to go open ground. Because I'm going to get them to defend this area. And we got some of this, but that's okay. So you got that. So open terrain bonus, extra 15%. So that's why we're mowing them down so quick. That's pretty impressive. And the beauty of fighting with a ranged unit is when you attack, you don't take any hits. Whereas a warrior, as you saw before, he takes hits. So pretty handy. Now, yes, we're going to go with uh, the wheel because we want roads because we're pretty close to building this new city. And we want to connect that up as quickly as possible. And these guys are two turns away from this one, which is sweet. Oh, we've met another place, Milan. Cultured, neutral, and they've got furs. So there we go. That's something that we can, uh, you know, we get them on our side. We're going to get free furs. Yeah, I'm just wondering, production might be better than... No, that will be better. Because our happiness is going to be pretty... Like, when you build a city, it's going to suck a like all of that happiness up, basically. Um, so we're going to work this tile next. Um, and then we'll move on to these so we can get our production on. So many complex little decisions to make with this uh, this thing. It's all it's all about balance, basically. 
Um, and I'm a bit of a believer that, uh, I mean, it doesn't matter if you've got a bit of unhappiness, like a little bit of unhappiness, but I tend to try and um, eliminate that just so you keep your growth, your overall growth going. Man, they are expanding like crazy. Rabbits like these guys. And that one should be done. Alright, well actually that's a pretty good place to stop now. Um, we've got this one happening, we've got these barbarians on the ropes, um, and we've almost got our city, our next city. So, I'm going to leave this one here. Um, you know, I will post one more video after this one, um, just so you guys can get a bit of a bit of a feel for what the game's like. For those that don't know, and for those that do know, see what you think. Get some uh, feedback to me. Um, any suggestions would be awesome. We've had a pretty good start so far, though. Um, anyway, I'm going to leave this one where it is. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I'll see you very soon for another episode. See ya.